All right, another test. Uh, this app is excellent. However, it does have its quirks. I'm basically testing the settings with the ISO and the lighting to get like light shafts and stuff like that. Now there's the gym, it's closed. So I'm gonna go home. I wanted to get a quick 30 minute set in. Um, so I'm gonna get in the car and drive home. The, the, the only thing with this app, which is the app that I'm referring to, is the MC24 FPS app. And um, it's a great app. It works really good. I like how it, you can adjust the ISO settings and the lighting, and you can you can film in 1080p. You can do 24 frames a second. You can do 30 frames a second. You can set it up however you want to get the film quality that you want for your for your particular camera or your cell phone. Like right now, I'm adjusting the lighting, as you guys can see, to to better capture the interior of the of the car and everything um, there's just one thing about this app and it has to do more with Android than anything it's that the MC Pro 24 FPS is a better app for Android phones versus iPhone which the Filmic Pro app works better for iPhone and not as good for Android but it does work for Android. The Filmic Pro app works for both Android and Apple or Mac or iPhone. But Filmic Pro is better suited for iPhone. The MC24 um, FPS, which is what I'm using, is better suited for Android. So I, I have an Android phone. I have a uh, Samsung phone, a Galaxy something or other. Good phone. Films in high def, 1080p and all those things but the one downside to everything that I see with this app is that it has a tendency to um, to crash and I don't like that and so because it crashes that could be a problem it's problematic in that sense but other than that you know whatever man it's cool great app it just has the problem of crashing so if you can get past that part of it which um, I think it has to do with settings and it has to do with a bunch of stuff like that I'm trying to make sure I don't hit a curb over here um, then you're okay so make sure that your phone settings are compatible with the settings in the app for the MC 24 FPS to the point where they're set and they work and they don't crash. Now, you can probably contact the makers of the app maybe via email and tell them if you have any problems as far as crashes, which is something that I I tend to do or I, I, I plan on doing. I'm gonna send an email to the makers of the app and see if there's a software update or something like that because that is not a great thing <laughs> it's a kind of a problematic thing I've only, it's only happened a few times but I don't want it to happen at all I don't want it to happen a few times one time two times I don't want it to happen because if if it happens when you're doing your projects your film projects you know it's gonna suck man you really don't want to spend money on something that it advertises professional film um, quality stuff which is what this does advertise uh, to make you a mobile filmmaker and then when you when you get to the place you're trying to get to and you have your your talent there which is your actor your actresses your whoever the people are that are part of your project and you're filming them and you're doing all these things um, then you all of a sudden you have a crash that's not cool at all so again, I'm going to shoot an email and, you know, it. I don't know how old this app is, but I think it's a couple of years old. It's not brand, brand spanking new. Um, so I'm thinking maybe there's been an update, but I just got this app. So any update should have been done when I downloaded it. I just got this app um, 
10 days ago maybe something like that and uh like i said that's my only complaint now other than that this the the user the usability of it it's better than filmic pro if you guys are into mobile filmmaking then you guys i'm sure have heard of the difference between filmic pro and this app that i talked about which is the uh, fp mc fps um uh, whatever app it's a good app I like it and I'm sure like I said that you guys who are into this kind of stuff have heard of both now if you guys have any input on that I would like to I would love to hear about it because um, it's still new to me um, there's a few guys I follow on social media on uh, specifically YouTube that are mobile filmmakers who um, talk about these kinds of things and they did mention one of one or two of them did mention that that is an issue that um, with this particular app that it is known to have uh, crashes with Android devices and they also said that it has to do with the Android operating system more than it does anything else so that would mean that the, the app makers have to comply more along the lines with how android is doing their their operating system versus how um android's not going to bend to the app maker because android's been around a lot longer so i don't know if that's going to happen or not but more than likely it will and see like right now i'm going to adjust I'm gonna adjust the lighting a little bit because I'm walking into the store. It's just one of those things. It's overall it's a cool app though. I, I do like it. Just the one caveat. Hey, the one caveat, it just it crashes, which sucks. But other than that, it's a great app. Now, other than that, it does everything it says it's supposed to do. Except it just it crashes. Not often. I haven't had too many crashes. That's another reason why I'm testing it right now. I've had like three crashes and I've had it for 10 days, which is in 10 days of using it. Three crashes is kind of a lot in my opinion. Um, so I don't, I don't really dig that at all. But that's cool overall. I am not a professional filmmaker, but if I was... That wouldn't be something that would make me smile. It's not making me smile as a semi-professional filmmaker. So I'm adjusting the ISO settings manually as I'm looking at the screen. It's a, when you're using the app, you just touch the screen and you can set your settings. So anyways, I'm playing with the app as I'm filming and as I'm looking at these really cool um, Adidas cleats, size 11, which are $12.99, very cheap. And if you're into cleats for, uh, these are like soccer slash baseball, I think. More of a baseball cleat. They look like they'd be good for like running, running on the track. I bet you they're more. I bet you they're more comfortable than the Nike ones. These are Nikes. These are. I don't know. I've had Nike Sharks before. And uh, it's good to have cleats if you're going to do sprints. But what I noticed is with the Nikes, they just weren't comfortable for me. I like Nikes, but the cleats didn't really. And I bet you these are more comfortable. I wouldn't put any money on it, but it seems like they'd be a little bit more comfortable. But hey, that's cool. $12.99 for some pretty cool cleats. I'm kind of feeling these, these Levi's. Really cool.
Those are 11, size 11, which is my size. They're, uh, they're Levi's. And then I had, I got a pair of these last time I was here. These are 27 bucks, same price. Really good deal, 11 and a half. So I have 11s, 11s is my size. I'm good there. Those are great shoes. So there you go, man. I'm in, I'm in the, I'm in the, I'm in the mall. I'm in the uh, Ross Dress for Less. Mostly testing out this app. What do you guys think about this? This app. How does that look? Does it have a cinematic quality about it? The reason I say that is simply um, due to the fact of um, I don't have the. Um, I don't have a, a, a lens, an external lens on here. I'm just using the native camera lens. And so there's nothing special. No anamorphic, no wide angle going on. Just simply the native camera app or the native camera lens. But I'm using the MC24 FPS app. And I'm testing, mostly testing that and the, and the gimbal. How's the gimbal? These are great, man. Six dollars for an ammo can. It's a good buy. I have one. It's a little not waterproof, but it's a plastic field box. You can use it for so many things. Put tools in it. Put it in the trunk of your car. You know, it's just really, really good for um, six bucks. Like I said, I have one. And I do recommend it because it's only six bucks. Always carry a flashlight. I have like seven. This one's 36 bucks. It's pretty bright. Six, 1,650 lumens. Has like a low power and a high power. And three, has three modes. So low power, high power. And probably like a, like a flashy mode or whatever. Water resistant, rubber grips. It uses nine AAA batteries, which are included. It's LED. Very cool little light, man. Lifetime warranty. Throw that in the trunk of your car. Good piece of gear, man. All right, so again, I'm just using this as a chance to test out that app like I told you so holler back I'll cut this short how does it look tell me how this looks how do these paintings look I like that one I like that one too There's so much to learn with these things, man, I swear. I'm in follow mode, I believe. All right, so let me cut it short. Thank you guys for watching. This is awesome. Tell me what you think. How does it look? Tell me, give me some feedback. I'm in the store. Steps on home from Ross and Whittier out.